We're going to Chernobyl exclusion zone. And this time we're not messing around. We're going to infiltrate the fourth NPP unit through the secret tunnel. Right, the one which exploded. There are lots of corridors and the NPP is guarded well. Can we make it safe and undetected? You will know it yourself soon. Oh my gosh, he dived in the water! Oh my gosh, no! Well guys, here we go again. We're back to Pripyat. Look who is going with us. Hello friends, you may remember me. I was helping with the flat repair in Pripyat. Though I have changed a little, I've got beard and so on. Glad to see you. And we have found this guy. Hello, dear friends. Yeah, last year I couldn't go with you, but this time I'm here. We will force our way to Pripyat together and break the law of Illinois state. And other stalkers have already told us that there are lots of photos of Super Sus and Kreasan on every corner in Pripyat now. Let's go quietly, guys. It is Quas, not be your guys. I see you've got a teddy bear with you. Why? This is my family talisman. It reminds me about my family in the hardest moments of my life. When it's bad weather, dangers and other emotions, I always remember about them. Alex is lying, we're in Russia, Taiga. Going to the Dyatlov Pass, right? Yeah. It looks like that. Oh my gosh, so big. It is macro the potier, wanna eat it? It is overripe, not a tasty. It's fly, Garrick. No, it's not. Look at it, guys. Is it a fly, Garrick? I think it's macro the piota, guys. It is a fly Garrick, I know about them everything. I've been working with mushrooms for 40 years. People say if you eat one cap of fly Garrick, you're gonna feel painkiller effect. And if you eat two, you will have hallucinations, yeah. We have to be quiet now, there may be cameras here. And camera traps. I thought only us installed them. Have you heard that people have seen bears in Pripyat? Yeah. The main thing is not to be caught. Hush everyone, we are close to the barb fans. Super Sus is taking photos for Instagram. There is no entrance. Dima, search for it, please. We can climb on it, in a stalker way, you know. Police works well, they have fixed all the fans. Oh my gosh, Sus is going already. Oh my gosh. See if anyone's there. Quietly. Now we have to get out of here nice and easy. They may be waiting for us here. That's it guys, we are in the zone. These pines are pictures. Cool. Hey Dima, are we lost? Why staying? I wanna take off my jacket. I'm going to Pripyat too. Your uncle Valera? He's Bear Caballero. Lots of abandoned vehicles in the forest. It is all around. That is a special liquidator's vehicle storage area. It is called Buryakovka. There was a village once. It was called Buryakovka. All these vehicles are very radioactive. So they have left them here. There are so many tires here. Oh my gosh. Look here, guys. Don't touch it, it may be radioactive. No, I know, this one is okay, I'm sure about it. Though we don't have a dosimeter with us. Check out this tractor condition. Let's go to the cabin. I don't wanna fall. We're going to restore this one, yeah. But there is no place to sit now. That is a hell, guys. Well, someone has taken it apart before us. Can we restore it now? That would be hard, almost impossible. There is no engine now. Stolen. Yeah, nothing we can do. We can't even turn it. It is rusty. There is some English here. Motor. We can't use it, right? Yeah, no use of it. There it is, guys. Everything here is disassembled and ruined, guys. But we will find something good enough to be restored, I'm sure. There's an ancient house. Where? Let's look at it. Let's see. Maybe that's from Wickles too. There are some combines, bodies. 
There is some heating here, looks like a change house. Why is this iron stolen? Careful with the floor. A heater in a change house, what is going on here? They leave lots of people, so many change houses here. Oh my gosh, guys. What was it for? I don't know, some change houses. The heating system is good. There must be a boiler room somewhere. Maybe they were doing something with vehicles, and that's for workers. There's another tractor over here. It was torn to pieces, even this axle. Isn't that a U.S. the loaf or something? There is a cross here. That's a hell, guys. This forest is filled with abandoned vehicles. There was a generator here. It was about 30 kilowatts, or even more. There is its rotor. What is that? There are some wheels inside. Oh my gosh, look what's there. Is it a washing machine vehicle or something? I've never seen it before. Is it the fire truck which is taking the reactor? Do you realize what fools are we? It is so dangerous here. Guys, we don't even have a dosimeter with us. We stand near the thing and don't even know why there is a hole like this. <laughs> Donetsk 85. There are vehicles from all USSR. That is not surprising. It's only 5 minutes till patrol arrival. We have to get moving. Do you know what is that, Max? That is a military engineering machine for cleaning. Just look at this powerful thing. They cleared the path in prepaid with this. The radiation must be crazy here. Yeah, we better get moving from here. The bad thing, we don't know the radiation rate. Why is that thing here? Were there people sitting? I don't know. The windows were armored. Look here. Look at this bucket, guys. It must be very radioactive, guys. So sorry, but we have to film it fast and run away. Such a pity we forgot the dosimeter. How could we? We are so sorry, guys. So the liquidators have removed the nuclear fuel with this. And there's a Burikovka over there. Fortunately, we can't enter it. Now there are cameras everywhere. So there are planes and helicopters, right? Yeah, here they are. Look. It is heavily guarded now. Do you hear a car coming here? We have to get out of here ASAP. They are after us. This area is guarded well now because they have brought some new containers with radioactive waste from Europe. When we were coming closer, I've seen military with dogs. We hid in the bushes right away. And hasn't filmed that. Sorry, guys. Let's move, guys. Get out. We have heard dogs barking. Was it a patrol, Dima? Sure thing it is. And they are returning. Let's go. Run, guys. The radiation in the most of the forest is normal, guys. It has recovered. But Ukrainian government doesn't want to open this area and remove restrictions. And we're gonna show you why. So, Max, is it a nuclear waste storage for Americans here? The USA has built it for themselves. Just imagine what we found, guys. We have found a real American nuclear waste storage in Chernobyl. The worst thing in that is that many hectares of Earth will die. This waste station will destroy the ecology. That is the ventilation shaft over here. Check it out, guys. America is bad. This area will be guarded well, but it doesn't work yet. That is why we can walk around. There will be a great moat with water. We will not pass here. So this area will be surrounded with water barrier. I don't get what for. So Chernobyl is going to be a restricted area because soon American nuclear waste will poison the groundwater. And it will not hurt anyone, cities and people. I think it's gonna poison the soil. Maybe they will pump it back if it happens. There is a well on that purpose, I think. The government have built a railroad with the only purpose to transport the liquid nuclear waste easily. What kind of business is that? How much did they restore? They have repaired the railroad to Yanov station completely and also wanted to make it to Vilchin, but that isn't clear. Can Americans really pour cars of nuclear waste here? We have no official statement. We have found another tractor here. Looks like it was broken and left here. Some extra parts here, guys. There is some rusty thing. Oh my gosh, what is that? How anyone can restore it, guys? I don't know. Look, there are some tools here. 
A hammer. Maybe someone has been repairing it. It looks like an air filter. How does it even work? Many tubes here. And how do people clean it? Write us some comments about it, guys. This one isn't going to be repaired soon. There are a few tracks missing. They are so huge. It might have enormous power inside. There was some welding, but why doing that? Maybe it was torn off. Its paint is new. Its condition is cool, by the way. It is restorable. This one is a way better than one near Pripyat city, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go. There is some dashboard, but we should start it from the outside. There are pedals, levers, brakes and so on. What about the indicators, Alex? Is everything alright? I think it's all rusty. Yeah, no good. I have climbed up to film this nuclear waste factory better. There you can see some watchtowers. For guarding this area, the second one and another one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight of them. It is guarded heavily. There are patrols time to time. So we better get out of here, not to be caught. We are going to go to the fifth power unit. Right inside of the place where is supposed to be the reactor itself. The reactor room. And we will have to dive, the way is flooded. Don't worry, we've got super suits. There is plenty of security here. Wait, I think it is a crane, which can lift up to 700 tons. Yeah, you're right. Guys, this crane can lift the nuclear reactor. We're gonna go there. There is a factory nearby, where this reactor was assembled. Out of three giant parts. And then it had to be used in the nuclear power plant. Yeah, let's go and see it. And there is the fifth unit. Oh my gosh, Super Suze is already waiting us here. And then we will go into the nuclear waste storage. Oh my gosh. That's risky. We're going in the storage. We have taken chemical protection suits. We're gonna use them. Have you got gas masks too? Yeah, I've got everything, even gloves. We're gonna be protected well. Super. Awesome, don't worry Alex, we'll be safe. Such a beautiful tractor. I guess someone uses it. Look over there, there are locks, it is closed. It is building guarded. There are some abandoned cars over there. I wonder, why does the tractor look brand new? It is just well groomed. And the trailer as well. Look at it, so big. Oh my gosh, guys. A starter. We have to pull it to start the engine. Really? Yeah, just like a chainsaw. How can we get in the cabin? From the other side. Let's go and try. Oh my gosh, look how it's connected. Looks unreliable. Look. Come on. Wow. Whoa. Get in, Max. Oh, I see you've never known about it. No tractor in Pripyat starts with a key. It doesn't need it. I'm not sure how to go. It is the left and the right track. Uh huh. So I turn it like this. Yeah. It has no wheels, but tracks. I feel like in a tank. It is all ruined. It is okay. That is Chernobyl. So that is the accelerator and that's a brake, right? Yeah. That is a wheel. What is that for? Guys, write us what is that. One, two, three. So that is accelerator, clutch and brake. Look here, the thing is broken. So we can't raise a bucket. Have you seen that? Let me close it. I know how to do it. That's it. Ready. These tracks are almost new. Wait. They're well attached. Let's go to the assembly factory. Yeah, let's go. It's about 5 p.m., guys. Sus is walking over there. Oh, look, they're getting metal from here. Yeah, obviously. So we're going there, aren't we? Look at it, guys, the generator. It shows the voltage one day. What is this canister for? Can we launch it, Alex? No, there is no engine. There was someone walking. Well, guys, this is the very place where had to be assembled the fifth nuclear reactor. And this roof was supposed to shift. There are the rails. 
the roof moved and the crane was moving the reactor which had to be there. It was supposed to stand over there, on the spillers, and then had to be moved in the nuclear power plant. Hey Max, let me show you what was the reactor, let's go. I read about it. Do you see these concrete pillars around? Here and there, all around. An enormous reactor was standing on them. It was so huge and round, just fancy that. Do you know why there is sand? I know, they were doing some sandblasting. Yeah, right. And after the reactor was taken from here, there came the marauders. They cut metal parts and then sandblast them. Sandblasting cleans metal from radiation. It removes the radioactive particles. Sandblasting is sand mixed with air under high pressure, yeah. By the way, the murder sold metal to factories. So maybe you have something at your house, which was made from metal, was lying here one day. Let's think about the sand. There is plenty of it. The marauders were sandblasting, weren't they? Yeah, and they removed the particles. So, there is radiation right here. PT, we don't have a dosimeter. Despite we are walking on it, I hope we will stay alive to this. <laughs> About 20 years, not more. Really? You have 25 more years to live. No, I can't agree, I'm too young. If you've been to Pripyat, you will not live longer than 50. Those marauders have left here lots of metal around. They've been working here until they argued with Chernobyl management. And now they can't get metal from here legally anymore. And they can't sell it to anyone. So there is still plenty of it in Chernobyl. There is another weird solid part. It looks scary. What was it for? I can't imagine. Yeah, I think you're gonna open it now. There may be something radioactive inside. It is screwed tight up there. We can't open it anyway. Look at this giant thing nearby. What was it for? What kind of cylinder is that? That's a hell, guys. So many weird things here. There is a sandblast machine. Yeah, it is. They've made such a mess here with it. Are we going to dive today? Yeah, let's go. I feel like I want to swim. Yeah, guys, soon we are going to dive in the radioactive waste storage. Oh my gosh, look here. Someone has been there. And they have taken a bite. How big is that? Imagine, this crane can lift a 700 tons reactor. Do you think so? Yeah, it is the maximum weight. Actually, it wasn't used. The force power unit blew up and they stopped the process. Keep away from these cables. Why? Are they radioactive? Yeah, very much. Oh my gosh, let's get out of here. Well, guys, we have found a nice flat in the nuclear power plant. There are beds here. Look what we've got here. Some food. We're gonna eat. Yummy. Plenty of chocolate bars here. But that is the best yummy for Zeus. Let him teach us how to do it. We don't need a knife. Why? It's gonna blow up. There it goes. He's so hungry. Wait, what about the skin? You don't want to peel that? Is it tastier? Well, guys, we have made it to the nuclear power plant. Now we need a little bit of rest and test chemical protection suits. And then we're going to reach the fourth reactor unit, which exploded through a secret fluid tunnel of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant.